turn a key on your motorcycle and nothing happens. The motorcycle in question is an R1100RS, which you can see here in the picture. And when I say nothing happened, you turn the key, no headlight, no turn signals, absolutely nothing at all. This motorcycle is dead. So the big question is, how do we check the battery on the motorcycle? The battery is hidden underneath the gas tank. So this presents a problem that we really don't want to remove the gas tank. So thanks to some message boards, I was able to find a solution. We have to find some other positive terminals on the motorcycle, such as the positive on the starter, the accessory plug, positive and negative right by the uh, starter, or it go right into the fuse box. And then we can see here, we do have electricity. So we don't have electricity to get into the switch. So we follow the line from the ignition switch, the key switch, to this spot here. We remove the plug, check inside, and sure enough, we have power getting this far but the switch is not redistributing the power, and that's the problem. So now the big question is how do we get to the switch? The switch on the top is the key, on the bottom is the switch. We have to remove the top yoke. And as you can see here, it's a little homemade contraption of a spark plug socket, an open end wrench, and an Allen bolt, because this nut is in a recess and rather difficult to get to requires a tremendous amount of torque and we had to use heat on it to get it to release. Once the nut is finally off, we can pop the forks out after we release the pinch bolts and just like magic, we have the bracket. You can see at the bottom of the bracket is the switch. Now you may have security bolts on your, in fact you will have security bolts, but you may have to remove them on yours to get to the switch. If you do, you drill them out and use an easy out. I didn't have to, but replacement bolts are available. So once I had it out, you can see here there was an access port, scraped off a little red paint, under this little tiny screw, and here was the part I was looking for. This switch just popped out. Once the switch was out, you could open it with these three tabs, and inside, well, I wasn't really surprised. Here's a lot of corrosion and dried grease. This, that was the problem. I probably could have cleaned it, reused it, but after going through all this, I figured I'd put in a new switch. So thanks for watching. I hope if you have to do this project, it works out for you, and it worked out for me, and the bike is running absolutely great. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.